Hi, my name is Kemp Q. I want to see what I can do with a new account with no trade restrictions, no XP restrictions, just playing RuneScape properly. To seize the full potential from every crevice of the game. To start fresh with a new beginning. The cash stack of champions, look at that. Woo! This is what I've chosen to invest my money into. I am going to alk my mage pretty much in zero time as I do other activities. So by the end of this, I will have 66 magic. I'm gonna destroy my cash pile by investing in my skills for quests. I need 61 crafting for lunar diplomacy. Thirty-five crafting. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. This episode, I'm finding focus. Now that I have a good foundation of resources, my goal is to continue the upward trend, maintain my money through herb runs, unlock new areas, and work towards accomplishing a new milestone, achieving Barrow's Gloves within two weeks of creating this account, and a quest cape within a month. Hey, there's 50 fire making, the requirement for desert treasure. To put my house in Zaya, I need 25 construction, so I'm gonna get that quickly just for the convenience of the farm runs. Plus, there are like five new quests there, so it'll be nice to have a house in Hosidius that I can immediately teleport to. 25 construction, I can now move my house to Zaya. It's gonna be so much more convenient until, of course, I get the Xerix Talisman, which will be a lot better. Sold all my rubies off from 51 crafting. I never thought this would come so soon, but I'm training Slayer to get 40. Well, mostly because I need to train my range to 40 for Temple of Ikov quest, which is a prerequisite to Desert Treasure. So I'm going to be training Slayer while also training my ranged with this cannon. Black Mask Cannon using Expeditious and Slaughter Bracelets. Who said I was in early game with my full adamant? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Adios, fella. <laughs> I hope he finds his way back. 18 Slayer, the requirement for animal magnetism, but I am going for that 40 Slayer requirement eventually for... Royal Trouble or something? Kingdom of Miscellanea? The Black Mask adds a 16.67% boost to both accuracy and strength, and I'm definitely noticing it. This is increasing my XP by so much. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that. Yes! 59k, baby! Whew, nice. All right, 10 Slayer levels, two ranged levels, and we're done with this task. Got a medium clue scroll, Snapdragon Seed. We made some money. Got my clue scroll in Zaya, so fortunately, I've literally just got my construction level up to put my house in Zaya. Here I am. Let's go. Yes, casket. <sighs> okay, well, it's not the greatest, but if you guys want me to do every medium clue scroll I get, I have a chance of rangers, oops, which are like 36 mil. So, if you want me to do that, then just leave a comment. Probably spent 30k on that task, but made 70k. 40k profit. What's the point of having a black mask, but not flexing it everywhere you go? God, I'm so bad. Fire chunks. <laughs> you think I'm gonna be able to hit on those? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. You can probably do this in Neve's Cave, which is actually an amazing place to do it. I should switch out to a glory though, because I think I will be quite inaccurate. 47 magic, 28 slayer. I quite like this task. I've decided to extend this task because it's very easy to have my cannon hit the fire giants twice every single rotation. And I like my range XP. Ooh, another long bone. 36 range, 34 slayer. That's gonna end the task pretty much. But I gained a lot of levels here. Task completed, 67K in loots. If I'm gonna start anything for this account, like, I don't know, a Slayer tab, for example, then it has to be this episode. If you guys have any other suggestions for what I should start doing, and then, you know, have some kind of finale conclusion, then let me know. What a crappy task. I guess this task isn't too bad. You can just kind of line him up at the double hit spot. Sick, one level to go until Temple of Icar. All right, let my uh, cannon do some of the work. 36 Slayer, nice. I think my cannon will keep attacking the werewolves as well. All right, thank you, Cannon, for your service. Mithril Chain. What a lovely surprise to come back to. And I have the letter hose and shorts. Task complete. Okie dokie. So, just got a task of Cockatrice. Probably the worst task I could have gotten, but I am prepared with a mirror shield. And also, I can't get any ranged XP because I can't cannon them. 
Oh, so close to 40. Woo, this task just flew by. Got a medium clue scroll. Give me the Rangers. Are you freaking kidding? <laughs> yes, 40 ranged. And actually this task isn't that bad with cannon and stamina potions. Look at how many things I've killed. Nice, task complete. That only took literally like five minutes. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Lord Ethan is going to slay some lizards. This guy's better than me. He's a fury. Why am I so trash? Let's see it. Uh, okay. I'm going to make the most of this Shades task by doing it in the Morton area and also simultaneously completing the Shades of Morton quest. Got the supplies for it. This is a jade bracelet that makes this building much faster, and I think it just allows me to get 100% repair state very quickly. So, I'm hoping it works out. I don't really know what to do after this, though. My olive oil, there we go. Sacred oil, beautiful. Okay, now you're healed. Yay. Quest complete. Now back to my Slayer task. Nice, task complete. All right, that's it for Slayer. I'm done for quite a while because I've accomplished my goals with it. I got 40 ranged for Temple of Ikov, so I can do Desert Treasure Quest soon, and I need 40 Slayer to do a couple quests for the Quest Cape. So I'll just use a Wild Pie for those quests, and I'll continue Slayer when my melee stats are higher. Marking episode three with three rune crafting. Black Mask sold, lost 84K, but the boosts made it worth it. Ha, flash of light, distraction. Consider yourself distracted. But yeah, I'm doing the dig site quest now, and I should be well on my way to get all the prerequisites for Desert Treasure complete. Stats taken out of the way, now just for quests. You know what? 50 magic. The requirement for Desert Treasure and the Tome of Fire. And Snare, I guess. Dig site completed. Boosted myself from 10 to 32 mining throughout this quest. I've been a pleb. I've just been teleporting to our down through the skills necklace straight to the fishing guild. But now I'm going to do Plague City to unlock the proper teleport. Plague City complete. Another few mining levels as well. And the our down teleport spell. Oh, wait, I don't even have the level for it. Boss fight. Well, that was a little bit easier than expected. How do I not have enough Limpert Roots? Somehow I only brought 17 Limpert Roots. I don't know what happened to the others. Does anybody ever choose the evil path? We always kill Lucy and he's just, he's just too evil. Yay, quest complete. A few more quests to go until I can complete Desert Treasure, but I'm doing Taurus Trap now. 51 magic as well. Can teleport Tara down. I need 20 smithing. No. Oh, here I come, Night Sword. Doing the Night Sword quest, just got three Blurite ores. I'm gonna make an extra Blurite sword, and I also just got one for the Blurite crossbow for the Falador Easy Diary. There we go, Night Sword complete, and 29 smithing. Back to Taurus Trap now. No dialogue at all is needed with Anna. You can just use a barrel on her, and you're mine. I probably should have done this quest earlier to get the agility XP, because I did train manually to level 21. A bit silly that, but. Here we go with the boost. Very nice. Now for the last quest before Desert Treasure. Troll Stronghold complete. Now for Desert Treasure. Let's go. Why didn't I bring a cannon? This fight was so long. Blood Diamond achieved, one of four. This is the worst time to get this guy, but I literally just ran past this wooden barrier. <laughs> oh my gosh, he literally just spawned as I ran past it. I'm curious what he hits, like how high he hits. Oh, he specs too, I didn't know that. I thought he just poked like a noob. Let's see, I wanna slay him. I have specs, I have 100%, let's go baby. I wonder what that was all about. Huh, 43 ranged. Alright, 
Ice Diamond achieved! Two more to go. Now with 52 magic, I have a full two minutes of high level alchemy as soon as I boost up with a magic potion instead of just one. Alright, Fareed. Is that his name? Yes, it is. How's it going, buddy? And I'm gonna die. <laughs> By the way, these are the new Dusk Robes that are a rare drop from the Konar drop table. Fareed complete. And where's the diamond? There it is. Yay! Alright, one diamond to go. The reason I brought body runes is so that I can aggro this rat and then I can far cast Damus. But yeah, if I just like staff bash them, I'd probably kill the rat because I mean, I have high strength and it only has two HP. Oh, your true power, eh? Let's see how it works against this rat obstacle. Hey, see Damus. He turned into a dog. Oh. It is complete. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Baskets of strawberries are the lightest thing that I've found that heal the most, but it requires a high hit points level for them to actually heal a significant amount. With 61 hit points, they heal me 4. And of course, if you have more than 0 kilograms, you will fail a lot here. Especially if you're walking, I think that doubles your likelihood of falling. Oh yes, out of prayer, out of alks, and... I didn't fail a single time. I think that's because I was zero, at zero kilograms. I didn't bring a fire staff because it put me at one, and I am happy that I didn't. Oh, maybe that's the trick. Bring your boots of lightness, fellas. That's it. Desert treasure completed. Oh, yes. It's been barely over a week since I started this account, and... Well, Barrow's Gloves before week two. That's the goal.